What's up, modern steaders? Tomorrow is harvest day for us for our Cornish Cross meat birds. We're going to be getting our chicken plucker, hopefully this afternoon, from UPS. Woohoo! And that's going to cut down on our time load there. The other thing I don't have yet is I don't have a good crate system to transport our Cornish Crosses from field to the harvesting area. So what I'm attempting to make right now is our own crates using some of our rough sawn lumber and products we have around our modern homestead. Most of my most of my lumber is still pretty wet, so this is going to be a heavy crate this year, and then it'll dry out over the next. Then it'll dry out, and the next time I go to use it, hopefully our fall meat birds, it'll weigh a lot less. We just try to use what we have around the homestead. You don't have to go out and always buy something new. I'm getting excited to try out this new feather plucker. It better show up today. What are you doing? Can There's you see anything? Eggs. We see dark spots like this. It's the yolk, so it might not be. No, we also see. saw one with the with veins and like a little body. You yeah, did. like there's some right there. See? Oh yeah, there's the veins are starting. Well, awesome. What day is this? Are we supposed to be looking at these yet? Yes, yeah. we can. Yep. See a spot right there. Cool beans. It was just moving a minute ago. Yeah, we just don't shake it up too much. Yep. Oh, the, yep, there's stuff right there. Cool beans. Maybe. So we have nine yes and four maybes. we make pick on marks. I have my sweatshirt here. Yeah, I'm going to get
the bag. Yeah, no, and then I didn't care about anything or her stuff. So. Oh. Yeah, and then. I like that. Now I have a way to transport my meat birds from the chicken tractor to the harvesting area. And if you watch tomorrow's video, you're going to be able to see it in action. Ah! Look what came in, guys. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. Look at this. Gonna open that box tonight and get it all set up. This is one of the things we need tomorrow for harvesting our meat birds. For you guys who don't know, I like to build my own stuff. And these are our harvesting cones. We just got it so we can have three in there at a time and just spin them around. One of the things we did is we made them different sizes. We have a big one, a little squish, we gotta straighten it out better. So the hole's bigger, it can hold a bigger bird, and the smaller birds kind of fall in. So we have the smaller one, and then the small one, medium, and then we have a large one. You know, some of the cornishes are big, some are small, some are medium. If you wanna do a turkey, you got a big one. My guess is we're gonna have to put this thing together, but you know what, it's gonna be worth it. And this thing says it'll do it in less than 30 seconds. That's crazy, I think it's actually 15 seconds it says they'll do it in. The reviews on Amazon were awesome. I'll leave a link and down in the description below so you guys can go check out the plucker. It's pretty cool. And we'll know better after tomorrow how it works. Oh, oh. Stay away please. I got my knife out and I'm cutting it open. The other direction. So the only bad part of this thing in the reviews is they say it's a pain to put together. So we'll take it apart and see what it's like. Watch out. I 
think this is spare pieces. Oh, it's to put the base together. These are the wheels. You got the other wheel. Oh, this is a wheel? Yep. Hose down there. That's the spinner. It's all nice stainless steel construction. People in the reviews on Amazon are saying it's hard to put together. So far, it doesn't look that bad to do. Right, Louise? Yeah. You put your wheels on, a big washer, and then a nut. Do you put your wheels on this end? And which end do you put it on? Just like that, yep. And then you need that and that. that. Can you use the wrench to finish tightening it up? I don't know, maybe. That this one? Yep. You can use either end. It's gonna lock in it, so it's probably gonna get hard the more you turn it. It's just hard because the wheel's spinning. It's hard because there's a, there you go, that's bottomed out. So there's a nylon washer in there that makes it so it won't come undone. It's hard to do. Perfect. What do we have to do? So we're gonna take, hold on. Ah. So you want these? No, like they want these out. So this one goes out on the side. Yep. The picture's showing. And then you can put this one on that side. And how? Just like you did the other one. Like this? And then I need one of these. Right? First, I need one of these. Correct. Gonna put this on that. There's only a certain point that you can start them. What's that? There's only a, there's a certain point that you have to stop them and start them. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing the other one. Can okay. I Is it working? It's working. Yep. Daddy dropped it. No, it won't work. Okay, go for it. We got a keyed hole, and the shaft has a key in it. So we gotta line those two up. So mm -hmm. those three will have to be on that side. Nope, they just sit there. How do you yep. put this? So one? put this one on first, like this. Okay. And then you put your lock washer. Yep. This is threaded with left hand thread, so you gotta turn it like you were gonna loosen a nut. So go ahead, Olivia, turn it. Instead of turning it to the right, turn it to the left. Okay, that's easy for me. Yeah, you're left handed, huh? Uh -huh. I'm assuming it's probably a 13. Yep. So hold on. Extension on there. No, other way. Yeah. You want to loosen it to tighten this one. Oh, so you have to go all the way around. Yeah, you can, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, those are arrows. Right here. Right Point there. down. Yeah. Oh, okay, they match up. Line up. Very good. So now we gotta undo the latches. Yep. How do you redo the latches? So pull, yeah, so pull this down. Now let's watch, take this. Ready? Thanks guys for watching. We hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And tomorrow we're gonna be harvesting our chickens and we're gonna be using the Yardman Plucker. I'm gonna leave a link down 
in the description below. You guys can get the Yardman plucker if you want, and tomorrow we're gonna see it in action and see how good it works. It was pretty easy to build it, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, it was fun. Olivia said it was a Father's Day present. I said, well, then you get to help me build it, right? Uh-huh. I think that was the best part of the Father's Day present is having Olivia give me a hand putting it together. So, we'll see you guys, we'll see you guys here tomorrow. At One of the Acres, a guide to modern home setting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.